Hey all you fellow emergency managers, it's me, Cole, your local emergency manager, and I just want to show you guys Verbella. So Verbella is one of the best platforms I've used for business, networking, and emergency management since this whole COVID lockdown started. Um, it's it's a uh, it's really great. You you could walk around. I could interact with these people if I wanted to. But I'm not going to though, because they seem like they are busy. But if you wanted to, you could walk up, waltz up right up to someone, press the number one to activate your microphone, and then you could talk to someone. You use your arrow keys to move around, and you use you can hold the shift button to run you could also use these little thingy my bobs here you could cheer do uh, let's see I could dance pretty cool there's a guy seems like pretty cool I could move this way too by clicking as soon as I stop dancing Uh, it's it's a great place like uh, you can run around and interact um, I have brought friends on here before and we've just ran around and talked to each other since uh, we were living long distance um, our call my college friends I don't see them much anymore because they live on the other side of the state so sometimes I'll get on here with them and kind of walk around and talk to each other it's, it's pretty neat um, you know, that's, that's only in the case of when I can't drive up there. Uh, it's, it's a really good platform. So <clears throat> today, I'd like to show you the emergency management side. Um, a connection of mine, Brad Ison, I believe you pronounce his name. Uh, we met each other on LinkedIn, and he has a company called Hazardscape, and they're very involved in Verbella. They're a emergency management company and this, they're just they have their own uh, business suite in Verbella and I'd really like to show you guys that so I'm gonna set that up for you guys and I'll be right back okay guys so this is the hazardscape private suite um, you do need a password to access this area so this is his pr uh, private suite it looks very professional okay so I'm a little lost he's got some interesting pictures planning section because badass miracle worker is not a profession or a job title gosh <laughs> can't read today he's got a little thing welcome leave me a note if you wish okay so you can leave him a note uh, welcome all thanks for popping in uh, you could leave him a note uh, if you guys want me to leave a note next time I'm in here just uh, yeah, leave me a comment and I'll definitely do it it's pretty interesting in here a little tour for you so if you don't know this is like a private area once you're in the circle it says in the bottom corner you are in a private room so it, basically, when you're in there, no one can hear you outside of this area. And also, Verbella has like a distance thing, so you hear people better when you're close to them and less when you're far away. It's pretty interesting. Search and rescue for autism. Interesting. Very interesting. I like this. Um, if you don't know, Brad is a Canadian which I thought was cool one time in the past I tried to video chat with Brad and we were in different time zones and it didn't really work out we didn't have um, the right thing going on I guess and but yeah I'm just chit-chatting away to you while I <clears throat> give you a little tour 
Seems really cool. Like I, I would enjoy this. Like if I, if I have my own business, I, I am interested in having my own business one day whenever I get the money. Oh look, Hazardscape. Here's his company. Uh, Brad Ison, Ison, however you pronounce it, President and CEO of Hazardscape Management. Yeah, so having my own company would be really cool. Um, here's Emergency Management Logistics Canada, his home country. Uh, I've always, if I did um, create my own company, I'd really like to name it after St. Michael the Archangel. He is the patron saint of first responders, I believe, um, you know, firefighters, police, I believe police officers, and uh, soldiers, warriors, he's a cool guy, and I think I, if I had my own company, I'd call it St. Michael's Emergency Management, or St. Michael the Archangel, Emergency Management Consulting, or St. Michael's Emergency Management Consulting or something along those lines. I think it'd be really cool to start a company like that. I I need a little more experience before I start it and I need a little more money before I start it because I really want it to work out and I understand if it didn't I know a lot you have to fail and fail before you succeed but it's just I just think it's, it's just something I want to do. I know uh, space, aerospace, and outer space is also something I'm very interested in. Meeting, this is a meeting room too. But yeah, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I have a lot of interests. I don't completely know where my life is headed. I don't know what path I'm going to take. I don't know if I am going to be an emergency manager in some one stoplight town, which does sound interesting. I, I want to live out in the middle of nowhere. That sounds really cool. Just um, be away from society. Salvation Army Disaster Services. I like it in here. It looks pretty cool. Salvation Army. I was an act. I was very active in um, the American Red Cross uh, back in the day. For a whole year, I was volunteering nonstop, at least three times a week. Loved it, um, and I've heard Salvation Army is of similar. I don't know a whole lot about Salvation Army though, and I believe that is French. Possibly, I do not know. I am a English speaking American, so do not know. It might be Spanish. No, it's not Spanish. Probably not because Canada, their second language is French, so I don't think so. I'm here already. Took the boat for Spin Ian. Hey, I made it pretty easy. An initiative. Wait, yeah, that's that word. Gosh, okay, Kathleen. Territor territorial rapid emergency assistance team welcome to the verbella hub please post a note in this room when you have access so this place is pretty empty i'm guessing since i guess everyone's doing other things after services we hope yeah i have no idea what that says back in the day in high school we actually had a well, like a uh, French foreign exchange student stayed with us for the majority of the school year. Um, I learned a few small words, but that's all. I think we might have been already been in here. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost. But anyway, that's my tour. I wish I could have done it better. If Brad was here, he could have really showed me around. Uh, I'm gonna have to see if he would give me a tour. Possibly. Maybe I'll do another video with Brad. I don't know, but I just wanted to show you guys this 
the emergency management side of has uh, sorry um, Verbella <laughs> Hazardscape is a big emergency management company on here and the alternative th this is an alternative to th this is like remote working and it's an alternative to meeting in person to um, do emergency management and disaster response and assistance and I think it's really cool really cool concept if I could have come up with a virtual meeting space I would have and I believe um, I believe there's good and bad in every situation and um, the COVID crisis really was the good side for companies like Verbella because it really helped them out to kickstart virtual meeting spaces and virtual environments as an alternative from for meeting in person so anyway if you like this video give me a like give me a rumble give me a hit that subscribe button and let me know what I should I should do next uh, thanks guys